Okay, so question number two asks, what are anomers? Anomers are cyclic monosaccharides Oh, I'm running out of space in this. And they can also be described as stereoisomers. of cyclic sugars that differ in configuration. Okay, so let's write down some examples of anomers. So I'm just going to draw a simple sugar. Like so. And the name of this sugar is alpha D glucopyranose. And for anomers, uh, we can also label the anomeric carbon as well, which is the carbon that is connected to the oxygen and another OH. So it's also known as carbon 1. If we were to label all the carbons in this cyclic sugar, is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that's one configuration, and we can also draw it in a different configuration. where we can have a different orientation of our alcohol group. So now, instead of the alcohol on carbon 1 pointing down, it can be pointed up. And then I'll just draw the rest in the same configuration. And again, we can label our anomeric carbon And the name of this anomer is beta, the glucopyranose. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. There are isomeric forms of cyclic monosaccharide molecules with a difference in configuration at one carbon atom, and the carbon center that differs in the configuration in anomers is called the anomeric carbon. Anomers are mainly found in the monosaccharides, 
with five and six membered rings called pentose and hexose because they can form stable heterocyclic structures. Anomers are designated at, as alpha and beta configurations. Alpha anomer has the oxygen atom at the anomeric carbon is on the same side as that of the reference molecule in a Fischer projection. The beta anomer has the oxygen atom at the anomeric carbon is on the opposite side of the reference molecule in a Fischer projection. Okay, so they have the different anomers of D -glyco, uh, glucopyranose, which is the one that I drew, and they also have D fructofuranose. Uh, and they just have the examples uh, below. Alpha anomer has a hydroxyl group present below the ring, and in the beta anomer, the hydroxyl group is present above the ring at the anomeric carbon. The alpha anomer is converted to beta anomer in aqueous solution by a process called muta rotation. So there are different factors that affect the stability of anomers. The hydrogen bonding between one anomeric group and the other groups in the molecule that stabilizes the anomer. Uh, you could have repulsion between one anomeric group and the other groups destabilizes the molecule. And finally, group repulsion at axial position C1 and C3 destabilize the anomer. Yep, so the solution is correct. Thank <laughs> you.